This week on Rack Rex Art. I didn't think that was going to be an issue. Nobody did. It's pretty gross, but like, it's pretty oh gnarly. Gosh. This might be the most ridiculous, dumbest thing I've ever attempted to do. Greetings Earthlings, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try to make the iconic leg lamp from A Christmas Story. But wait, here's where it gets stupid and ridiculous. I am going to try to make this leg lamp of my own leg. We're gonna make a mold of my leg and cast it in resin and we're really gonna hope it all works out okay. This is gonna be an extremely material intensive project unlike any project I've ever done before. Because of that, I'm really trying to keep some costs down and uh, not go wild. I thought we could hit the thrift store and see if we can find a lamp that I can kind of cannibalize for the lampshade and like the lampy, the lampy parts, the inside part. Let's get to shopping and hope for some good thrift finds. Yeah. Okay, so the lampshade in the movie is kind of like, whoop, you know, like a little whoop shape and it has visible panels and it's kind of like this yellow color. So we're looking for something kind of in the ballpark and of course that cute little black fringe. I'm not expecting to find anything that has that on there. I'll add that in later. Let's go to the thrift store now. Yeah. Lamp acquired. Pretty happy with it. Today is the day. Today is the day. We are going to hopefully get this silicone mold done properly and this resin pour done properly because we got one chance. We got one chance. There's a 26% chance of failure. But I'm not a total fool. I have called in some friends and they will be here shortly. Two hours later. All right, we've got our plan for what we're gonna do and we're gonna get started and I'm so nervous, but I'm going to trust my friends. I'm gonna trust you guys, right? Mm. I don't know if I should, but uh, I will. <laughs> you ready, Bianca? So ready. All the pressure's on you. I could ruin this entire project with just one pour. So slow. <laughs> Very anticlimactic. <laughs> Would hands be better? All right, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, glob it, get it, get it, girl. This is like Sometimes. extreme crafting. Sorry, you have to be extreme in my uh, butt. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> You have five minutes, go, go, go. Yeah. That looks awesome. You look kind of nice, massage. I like it. It's nice. Yeah, it's really good. It said to like test it out on a small area of your skin. I didn't. <laughs> we didn't do that. We tested it out on the large area instead. Yeah, it's that was safe. a good idea, yeah. but we didn't We didn't do that, Amelia. That's so. all right, that's all right. We're, we're in it already. At least for the most part, a leg is like a simple body part, you know, ish. As opposed to? Uh, I don't know, like, if we wanted to make a cast of Bianca's head, that'd be way more complicated. Oh, no. That would be very, very stressful. Oh, no. Yeah, some free feed for you, the internet. It's pretty gross, but like, it's pretty oh, gnarly. Okay, this if you enjoy foot content, leave, leave a tip. <laughs> I'll just stay like this, and then we'll work it out. Yeah, I'm normally kind of ticklish. I was nervous about that. Maybe but... you have no feeling. Yeah, maybe it's that duct tape, cutting off the oh, circulation. Oh, it's really working for me. Really? Pro tip. Create a tourniquet. <laughs> so naturally. John, that's a really bad tip. <laughs> Should I hold oh, your no. hair? Can you get that hair out of the set? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I have like the worst foot itch. My foot is so itchy right now. Oh! This is the worst part so far. They don't tell you this. They don't tell you this. They don't, there's nothing in the instructions about your foot getting itchy. Hello. Wait, it looks sealed. Yeah, it looks really good. I cut her toe off, dude. Oh gosh. So what we're doing now, down here, is we're making a plaster kind of casing for the mold. So when we pour the resin in, it is stable enough to hold its shape. How are you feeling? I, I'm feeling a little fatigued, not gonna lie. I feel bad complaining because you guys have done all the work, but I've been standing on one foot in a high heel for, what, two hours? Yeah, so I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. How close is he to cutting off your toes? Oh yeah, it's like right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I yeah. told you. Is there a hole now? I don't think so. Okay. It's pretty thick right here. Okay, good. I would be so, so distraught if we did all of this and then there was a <laughs> hole in the bottom of the mold, which is the worst place for there to be a hole. Not, not to worry about like actually cutting your toe off. You're more worried about the mold. Yeah. Just casually blow drying my leg. Yeah. As one does. Do you think I still have a leg under here? Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> the leg reveal. We already know we have a hole. How bad is the hole? Give it to me straight. It is a little rough. Is it bad? 
Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> we did it. Same we got it off. And it does have a pretty big hole in the bottom, yeah. but we'll work it out. Uh, there's nothing we can do at this point, but we'll fix it. Huge thank you to all my friends who made this mold possible. Obviously it had some issues. It is so thin. Honestly, we probably should have done like double the thickness of what it is, but we didn't have that much silicone. So I went in and I patched it all up. I think it's going to work a little bit better now inside the plaster. All right, let's set up this resin pour. I hate resin, it stresses me the fuck out. Let's go. All right, so updated problem here. I cannot quite get it to fit into the plaster casing. I've been struggling with it for um, an unsettling amount of time. Just shoving it in there, I can tell by putting my hand in the plaster that it's not lining up right. And it's probably because of those patches to close up this mold that it won't fit in there. This was a problem I didn't predict, but it is a problem that I am trying to avoid because I'd rather, uh, give this idea a shot, this holding it in place, whatever the fuck I'm about to do a shot, then shove it in there and have it be just ultra lumpy because then it's not even gonna look like my leg because my leg is not ultra lumpy. All right, let's see what I can work out. Okay, so this is my stupid, terrible chaos brain idea. I have it suspended by some strings and uh, I don't have a ton of resin, but I have enough that I'm gonna try to fill the foot and hopefully that will give it some stability and maybe I could fit it in the plaster after that. Or maybe I just keep going for it and it ends up being like a short foot lamp. Uh, I don't know, but this is the best I could come up with for now. So let's uh, see what happens. All right, let's talk about what's going on with this leg. Uh, it was very stressful pouring this resin. I hate resin. So hindsight, I really should have summoned my friends back to help me. Assemble! <laughs> what ended up happening, obviously, is solid base for the lamp, but I did not have enough resin to make the entire thing solid. To get creative, I put a plastic jar in there to fill up some space. And then in desperation, I did try my hand at the roto molding at the end, but uh, the problem is that that mold is so floppy. And as I was rotating it, it just really didn't keep its shape. It's paper thin, uh, it's kind of in the right shape. I don't wanna cut it off because this leg was already short. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to save it. We're gonna try to save this little thin part. Might not look like much now, but it's gonna give us some length, some leggy length. So I'm taking epoxy sculpt. I'm going to do my best to reinforce it and make it stronger. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got so much to do on this lamp. Super pleased with how that epoxy sculpt patch worked. It feels really strong now. And I actually adore, love the texture of that epoxy sculpt stuff. And I'd love to use it again in like a sculpture of like a monster or something more detailed, whatever. If you'd like to see me do that, comment down below as they say in YouTube land, because I really want to use that again. Uh, other than that success, things are um, a little stressy right now. I would say I am stressed with a capital S because I have been rushing the whole time with this project. I work retail and it's December and life has been nuts. So uh, I have basically just today, just today to finish this leg lamp, start editing. And then I have tomorrow morning to continue editing a little bit before work. And then you know what? It's Christmas. And hopefully you are watching this on Christmas day. That's what I want to happen. I can't predict the future, but I'm hoping for good things. So I have called in some help today from uh, Nick Taylor Woodworking is back and ready to help me because apparently I could not do this project without the help from my amazing friends. We got a lot to do and I will see you on the other side. Let's do this. 
the weirdest fucking thing I've ever done in my life. It looks great though. No, this ain't happening. It's too powerful. <laughs> your your leg is too strong. It's too powerful. Let me see if it's not. No, it's not that. It's the shoe. It's the shoe is too powerful. Ooh, Steve Madden. Madden girl. They don't mess around. There's like a thing in there. Wow, I'm about to leave a review. If you want a durable stiletto, this is the one for you. I didn't think that was gonna be an issue. Nobody did. All right, so we couldn't drill through whatever the magical stuff in the back is, but uh, it's not as durable in the front, so we were able to go through there. So I think we are going to still be able to attach it. Maybe throw in a little epoxy, eh? What a surprise. What a surprise. Thanks for helping. <laughs> So what do you think I should do? And we're all gonna hate Quit it! Quit you... it! Quit it! <laughs> Give up is what we're saying. Oh wow, Give thanks for the encouragement. Me. All right, maybe I will, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. I think they're right. I think I should stop for now. All right, I decided to heed their advice and uh, pause the project and not get it done in time for Christmas. <laughs> As sad as that is, it was the right decision because I was able to enjoy my holiday. And this is a huge project, overly ambitious and overly expensive and overly involving too many of my friends for it to not end up like at least kind of good. So I decided to take my time and just post this light. Maybe you're watching this now. Maybe you're not. Probably like five people are watching this because they're like, uh, Christmas video in January. Weird. I am not someone to give up on such a big project. <laughs> Can't really talk. I'm giving up on talking, but not this project. So we don't have a ton left to do. We're gonna stay motivated, right Raquel? Yes, Raquel. Let's do it. Let's finish this project. Yes. Yes, 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 yeah! <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. It's very cool and I'm so glad I didn't give up because I'm obsessed and I've spent like all morning staring at it. I'm thrilled and I'm happy to be done and I'm even more happy to show it to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at this ridiculous lamp. It's a lamp after all. All, all it is is a lamp. Let's look at it. are still here. Thank you so much for watching. I am just beyond thrilled with this. I learned a ton as well. I learned a lot about silicone body double casting and I definitely want to try that again. Yeah, I can do better next time. And resin, resin is still really challenging for me and I am going to get better at it. Mark my words. I've, I've figured it out a little bit every time I've used this stuff. Raflex Art is gonna get better at resin in 2023. Mm, maybe I just cursed myself. What is it with you and curses? Anyway, if you would love to see more Raflex Art content, be sure to subscribe because actually only 
20% of my viewers are subscribers. So, you know, help a girl out. It's totally free. It supports the channel and it helps me to make more content. So subscribe, please. If you love my channel so, so very much and you want to directly support me, check out my Patreon. It is filled with the most amazing, kind, inspiring people who keep me going and we hang out on the Discord server and it's pretty fun. And sometimes if I'm feeling frisky, I give you some bonus content over there. But no promises because I'm a scatterbrain. Anyway, <laughs> thanks again. Hope you're having a great year so far and I will see you in the next video. Be good, stay out of trouble or get into trouble. My hand, look at this. <laughs> get a close up of her gross little hands. Oh what God. Is, it's like, I Getting can't up. even keep it on. It's, just it's okay. Yeah, this is way too much. I should, I wasn't really paying attention. To the no, sorry, I didn't know what the vibe was. <laughs> <laughs> I have never done this before, okay? Um, this is the best part of the project. Just peeling this off. That is nice. We love to see it. We love it. Oh, one more time, we're gonna celebrate. Don't stop a Christmas story, doggy.